Hello everyone, my name is JP Danko and this is a gear review of the Serp Genie Mini for DIYphotography.net. The Serp Genie Mini is a small motorized motion control system designed to sit between your camera and tripod. It's just a little larger than a hockey puck with a built-in lithium ion battery and it has a nice rubberized coating. The Serp Genie Mini is part of the expandable mix and match Genie motion control system and can be used with many other Serp components. One really nice feature of the Genie Mini is that it is small and portable, especially compared to the full-size Genie or with many motion control devices. If you have a video project that involves a remote location, the Genie Mini isn't going to take up a lot of room in your pack. The Serp Genie Mini doesn't have any control buttons or dials on the unit itself. It can only be controlled via the Serp Genie app for iOS and Android devices. The Genie Mini connects to your device using Bluetooth, which I actually found to be much easier to use and more reliable than the Wi-Fi connections typical for many camera accessories. Another cool feature is that the Mini can automatically update its firmware directly from your phone over Bluetooth. I was a little skeptical of controlling the Genie Mini via the app at first. I'm not a big fan of touch screens or the necessity of having to bring along a mobile device just to control my gear. However, I was really pleasantly surprised with how user friendly the Syrup app is. It's extremely intuitive and very straightforward to use. To set up a sequence, you select either time lapse or video and use the touch screen on your device to set the limits of the motion that you want for your shot. The Mini is used mostly for horizontal panning motion, but all you need is an L bracket and you can also use the Genie Mini for vertical tilts as well. Once you have the motion set, if you're filming time lapse, you also set the record time and interval between photos. And for live action video, you just set the play time, which is the amount of time that it will take the Genie Mini to complete its motion set. If you get stuck, there are a number of presets that you can use to get started. I actually found that programming the Genie Mini is the easiest part of getting the shot because you still have to set up your camera as you normally would for a static time-lapse sequence or video. Overall, I think that if you're interested in adding controlled motion to your time-lapse or live action video, the Serp Genie Mini is a great first step that is affordable, portable, and extremely user-friendly. The best part is that you don't have to invest in the entire Serp Genie motion control system up front, but you can always expand your rig as your filmmaking needs grow. If you want to learn more about the Serp Genie Mini, be sure to visit DIYphotography.net for the full review. And if you just want to learn more about the Serp Genie system, you can click on the link to see our review of the full-size Serp Genie and the DIY build of a cable cam cart that we used with the full-size Serp Genie.